the reality of four dimensions. It takes almost dying sometimes for those of you to feel what I'm going to show you. And then they come back. I'll talk about that in a moment. Within your body, your structure, your DNA, is the entirety of your divinity. I have spoken of this many times and even this week. What is your soul? How would you define your soul? And is your soul part of your corporeal body or not? And being as linear as you are, you would say, no, they are separate. In fact, there are charts that you would draw to show their separateness. You'd have the corporeal three-dimensional body on one level, and above that comes your soul. Dear ones, that never has been accurate. Never. You rest in your soul. Your corporeal body is part of your soul. It is all together. In this very day, there has been the mention of what consciousness is. That it exists just like physics exists. Your magnificence, that which is your multidimensionality, exists all the time. It's right here. But the consciousness that you have determines how much of it you get to see. Did you understand that? You, as you sit there right now, are complete. This is real. The completeness of your soul sits upon you, made in his image, the divinity of you is complete, and it sits on you and with you and all around you. Okay, I hear you. But much of humanity is so unaware of it that they only simply use a part of it, a okay. piece of it, a very small part. As you walk from place to place, you are so proud of your reality. Those who would listen to this and reject it are so proud that they are those who walk in a reality and not some place in the clouds that, that, that crying is going to take you to. Proud they are that they're in a box of their own belief in a very small portion of dimensionality that exists for them, proud they are that they are in this box and what they see and they feel is I'm all the box, darling. And so they have made up their minds that they know it all. And they say, don't confuse me with what I can't see. Don't Hi. confuse me with what I cannot touch. Cortana. What time is it? It's 8.46 a.m. in Arch Cape. In your three-dimensional you. world, that those who are twins have something... What day is it? Some... Today is Friday, January 29th, 2021. Thank you. That at an intuitive level, they can be on both sides of this earth. And yet, if one is in trouble, the other seems to sense it. Enough so that they would contact one another and ask, is everything okay? They will you tell you that at the point one parent has died, they both knew it at the same time. And they would get together and cry and share the stories of sharing the same intuitiveness between them. Now, for those We're of you here. who can only feel and touch and believe that which you can feel and touch, I want you to stop and explain that to me. Explain that to me in your world of being okay. so proud that you can only believe what this you can feel history. and touch. How do you explain that? You're in my future. And the answer is you can't. You see, it goes I... a little beyond that which is your reality. Could it be that DNA has a multidimensional aspect? Want? 
Oh, it does. What are you looking a big for? One. For that which is your star stuff. Lady? Which you have received from those from the stars has a multi-dimensional complement and attribute that allows You're so much vacation. more than if you were simply an animal of Earth. We're down here And the twins at the beach. and their attributes show this. And so does those that show this We're playing a game. tell you about what happens when they died and came back. There are many who don't believe this. They don't believe that a human being could have a near-death experience. In fact, psychologists will say, well, it's only your mind acting out what you've been told may be there when you take your last breath. And they'll say the, the mind stays alive a little longer than the rest of your body, and they'll say, and the, the activity of your synapse, and they'll go on and on, gives you pictures and sensations and all, even after death is pronounced. And that is how they explain a near-death experience. And then you get to talk to the human beings who've been through it and had an experience that they can't be quiet about. And the interesting thing is when you get them together, they'll tell you the same story. And the story is amazing. The story is that which they seem to peek behind the curtain, as you might say, in an in odd way. They're out of three dimensions. So suddenly the awareness is enormous. Where's that dimension? You have no idea what that feels like. You don't know how limited that which your consciousness invisible, is in this box clear. that you've created. But when you take that away, you take it off completely and it's all gone. Okay. Dear ones, the expansion will take your breath away. It's almost like peeking behind the curtain to divinity. Reality, not yours. The real reality. Not that box you're in that you're so proud of, but a reality that is of the Creator. Multidimensionality is like that. It's like going to an entirely new level of what you thought even was there or might be there. And we said it before, it's living in, in black and white and suddenly seeing color. You didn't I'm know it was even there. there. And it's not just something that you see that's different. I'm over it's here. A, oh my, I had no idea. <laughs> and suddenly all the shades of color show up. Now, take it one step further. That's just with your eyes. Those who have gone to the other side for just a moment have multidimensional sight. Dear ones, all the frequencies are seeable into that which is the light and the music that plays that you cannot even describe, the music that is created literally from light and confluences of energy with the stars, all hitting that person at the same time with the love and compassion, and they can't believe it's there. And suddenly it's not, and they wake up, and they realize they're back in the dark, to them, back in black and white, to them. And they cry because they came back. <laughs> All around them, perhaps, are relatives, if that was the scenario, if it was in a hospital, if it was at home. All around them, celebrating, you're back, you're back. <laughs> and deep down inside, they're saying, oh, and I don't want to be back. Because I got to see truth. I got to see those who passed before me. I saw their face. I know I did. I heard their voice. I saw their souls for just a moment. I got to see what really is there. Don't you understand? That's where I want to take you. We're going there Not now. Fully, but partially. Is it possible to walk into the rooms of your soul? A metaphor. 
Is it possible to go beyond the known barrier of consciousness without fear? Is it possible to go to that place where the masters walked, where they knew all about that place? Is it possible to share that kind of thing with others? Yes, 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 and yes. Okay, darling. The time is right for humans to start moving into that which is the next step. There's no qualification. Our souls will see it better. And One soon, giant leap. new souls will see it as well if they choose a hop, to. Skip and a jump. It. it just may take a little Voila. more. Effort. It's there for us. Here we are. Everyone. This is Three. the new thrust, if you want to say, of knowledge, of power to the individual human being that I want to give. It's not just information, Energize. it's experiential. And in order for you to participate with me in this, dear ones, hit the internal. You're going to have to get out of yourself. Let me take you there, just for a moment, and show you what I mean. The first thing I will say, and I will say it every single time we go on this journey, is that this is a a paradigm that I've asked my partner to repeat as often as possible. For those to come and sit and come and sit and come and sit. Come on in. For the more they come there and the more they sit in this energy, the more they will have an awareness of who they are. And of course, the more their body will start to see what they're trying to do like consciousness homeopathy, the innate will start to realize he's doing it, she's doing it, oh my. They're starting to be, to go beyond that dimensional barrier. And when you do, dear ones, there is such control over those things that you never dreamed were yours to control. Ridding yourself of disease Making that process of rejuvenation in your body more complete so you last longer. The ability to stop that which is the worry engine. The ability to cancel out remembrances that you can't get rid of. On and on and on. Because suddenly you have a enablement of awareness and consciousness that you never had before. Come with like me that. to the circle of 12. Yeah. In order for you to do this, you have to cognize it. You have to mean it. Now, there are those listening right now who didn't plan on this, and you may wish to stay right here. This is free choice, dear ones. But I'll tell you, I'm about to take you into another reality. Truly another reality. You may sit in a chair in 3D, but I'm telling you this, you'll question what is real and what is not real when you start to cross the bridge. In that which is your vision for this time and your free will to say, yes, I'm going to go there for a moment with you, you're going to see a chasm and a bridge across it. It can be any size of chasm, enormous, small. The bridge can be any length, short, long, any width or height, any kind of bridge. That's going to tell a lot about what you think about what's next. You're about ready to step into the unknown. The unknown represents that which you have not been aware of yet 
And part of your brain will say, well, things which are unknown are often then dangerous. What if it were the opposite? What if they were miraculous? What if stepping into the unknown in this particular case means that as soon as you go through a certain mist on the other side, in the middle of that bridge, when you go through it, and the angels take your hand and congratulate you for your courage to step into another reality, even for a moment. What if that is what is going to happen? Why don't you find out? There is a mist that is halfway across the bridge. You cannot see beyond it. Some will say, well, crying, you're leading us into a, a bad place, really. Then don't come. After all of these years of giving you loving messages and congratulating you for man, your magnificent step, I'm ready to take you any you place like except for the next step for you. You take that first step if you choose, knowing very well you're going to go through the mist. We're you come on. halfway across that. You like that feeling? I understand you're asking my opinion, but some of my opinions are still a work in progress. And the visions okay. you're going to have, I'll assist you with, but every I single one you. of you will have something different in the amount of reality you think is there or not there. And I'm going to ask you right now, is this real or not? Does it have to be what you this touch and real. feel and breathe right now to be real? I'm talking to my or computer. Would there be more than you think? I'm listening. And in that more than you think, can you step into another what reality? What are we talking about, even while you're in the chair? And if you can, what's it like? And what will you see? And what will happen? Is that funny? For those of you who wish to, right now, come with me. Get closer. And step into the mist right now. Look into my eyes. Step into the mist with me. And suddenly you'll realize the mist is not all that thick. It's something that obfuscates what's on the other side of it. It hides it. But when you're there, suddenly there is the color that we have spoken of. But it's not what you see, dear ones. It's what you feel. First of all, safety. Benevolence. If the ground and the trees and the air could be kind, that's what you feel. If benevolence could be thick and you could breathe, that's what you'd feel. For you're starting to become one of those multidimensional human beings who steps into their own divinity and starts to be aware of what the Creator actually is and what the love of God actually is. That you never got before. You have the creator in you. The design is for you to become aware when it's time, and it's time. As you stand there, I want you to proceed if you choose. Come with me. You cross the rest of that bridge and you start to feel all these things that you haven't felt before. And the main one is being cared for. It almost seems like that which you call nature has taken your hand. Some of you feel that you're actually floating instead of walking because you are in a place where your name is everywhere. Everywhere you look is your divinity. Again, consciousness, dear ones, is mathematical. The structure of the universe is base four. If you look around everything, you can see right now, even in 3D, as you look backwards, is divisible by four. Physics, DNA, everything. You might say that it is part of the twelves, which in history and mythology has an ancestry itself as being the number of divinity. 
Everywhere you look, there are the twelves, and in this particular case, the circle of twelve is you stepping into that which is the soup of your own consciousness. The formula of high consciousness is the twelve, not the number of masters you might meet. This is different than you expected. You are stepping into your own mastery, your own divinity, and you're starting to feel what that might be like. Take a breath. Tell me, is this real or not? This is real. Is this real or not? A multi-dimensional vision can be more real than you sitting in the chair. You can be both places at the same time, dear one. So can any multidimensional energy. Two places at the same time, guaranteed. That's easy. You just stepped out of four. What do you four. see when you look around? I invite you to see the temple before you. The temple has a door. How big is the door? How big is the temple? This tells a lot about you. Each time you might come to this very sacred place of yours, as your soul couches you and starts to talk to you, that temple will change, I guarantee it. As you start to realize where you are and how safe you are to build anything you want to that is you, that temple will change. Above the door, the one door, is a name. It is written in a language you can't read yet. How big is the door? What is a door in this particular scenario? Is it an opening? Is it something you have to open or close, or can you walk through it? It tells a lot about how you think about yourself at this moment. For everything you're doing right Come on now, in. Doors open. Of your reality placed into a multi-dimensional reality. It's the only thing that you can imagine. Stay with me. Do you want to go into the temple or not? You don't have to. But if you do, there's intensity there. There's an intensity there you may not want to experience right now. This is real, you see. When you step into this kind of a paradigm, you start to experience things cellularly that you didn't expect. Take a breath. Does the oxygen smell different? Is this real or not? Is there sunlight or is there something else? What is creating the light? You've made up your mind what it is. Perhaps it's different than you thought. Come with me into this door. Come closer just for a moment. This is a sample, dear ones. I'm not going to take you to the exact place I will take those in the healing circle because they have intent to be there. Where you, at this moment, are just looking around. I've asked my partner to make this experience available for all on a regular basis. Right now, I just want to, to show you what's in there. Do you want to come in or not? You decide. If this is real for you, dear ones, I want you to think about it. Because when you go in that door, you might meet yourself. You might meet that which is grand and magnificent. And it may affect you. It may affect you in a way that you'll shake a little or wonder what's going on with you and not realize that that's what divinity is like. And that's what love and compassion is like. It's, it's so far above your own life that it actually shakes up yourselves. There's nothing unsafe in here, dear ones. It's just that magnificence is like that. Joy is like that. Come with me through the door just for a moment. I want to show you something. 
As you step in, you start to realize it's a theater. Yes, it's a theater. In this particular example, in the ones I've shown before, it's the theater of the round. You have seen this before. A sunken theater surrounded by an audience where the thespians or the ones who are going to perform or those who experience something must come down the aisle onto the stage and do what they do. There's one chair in the middle of the stage and all of the lights are on it. You're going to be asked to go down the aisle and sit in the chair and in that chair things are going to happen. When the audience starts to show itself, you're going to see things you didn't expect. You're going to meet those who are you. You're going to meet your past lives. You're going to have, perhaps, things happen to you. They may step forward and talk to you. Some may beg forgiveness for what they've done to you. You know who I'm talking about, dear ones, and this is real, even if they're alive. Some may sit and wash your feet. Angels may come and talk to you about your life and ask you questions like, why didn't you take their hand when you were so sad, when they were catching your tears? Why didn't you say hello? Why didn't you let them help you? You'll have e examinations, perhaps, of you with you and realize not what you missed, but what you can do next and where it's going next. So that when you come back from this experience, you'll be changed, dear ones. This is the door. To a multi-dimensionality that is you with you and it's opening it's opening for so many of you to go to this place and finally see the majesty of the soul that was built for this the systems that are here for you extended life a disease which starts to go away aches and pains which start to go away just because you're suddenly in a divine place and your cells recognize what you're doing. Conscious homeopathy. You're giving instructions to yourselves that you know where you are and who you are. And then you start to give instructions of what's next for you. I want this all to fade out gradually. You can open your eyes if you wish. Cortana, who's in charge here? Where I want my partner. Who's in charge here? That would be you. Who wants to go? In any culture, in any language, who wants to come? Every week. I guess so. I'm the boss. Consider a time that is perfect and safe and comfortable. Rejuvenation is there. Rejuvenation of spirit, of all that you are. A constant reminder that things are not always as they seem. I am Cryon with another purpose for you for these years of coming. I am crying in love with humanity because you've crossed the bridge. And here we are. And it's time for you to know what else might be there. All grand, all beautiful. Okay. And you deserve it. And you deserve it. And you deserve it. And so it is. Okay. So let us give the intention that we wish to have the wounds, the lack of self-worth that are carried within our Akash to access the energies available to us from the nodes and knolls that are broadcasting their quantum energy onto the grids 
that we can pick up and receive. Feel the energy within your feet connecting to the energy of the earth. You are known and loved by Gaia. Every time you have come onto the planet, she knows you and greets you. Feel the energy of the earth. And the energy of the earth carries with it the multidimensional energies that are being released from the nodes and knolls all over the planet. And let that travel up through your feet and Breathe. assimilate into your body. Why do let I... the energy from the knolls that gather negative energies now move the way up through your feet, up through your calves, your knees, your thighs, your abdomen, your chest, your hands, your arms, your shoulders, What's it? your neck, your head, and allow it to swirl around and through your body, gathering every inappropriate Whoa. energetic imprint that lays within your akash, lays within your DNA. Let the energy swirl around through your body and gather those up and now they're just being gently released through the top of your crown okay. and we're going to thank the energy of the gnolls for gathering these inappropriate energies and with a breath and a sigh of relief we relax back into our chair and let's visualize <coughs> This being carried in a conveyor belt okay. and being distributed up into the nodes on the planet. These nodes given to us in love by the Pleiadians are so sacred that on instantaneous connection, the negative energies, inappropriate energies, that have been collected from our Akash are now transmuted. They no longer exist. And with that release, let us ask, dear star mothers inside, dear star grandmothers inside, come closer. Come closer and pull upon all the benevolent, loving experiences held within our Akash and let them bubble to the surface. Let the feelings of pure joy be carried within our cellular structure. Let the feelings of benevolence and compassion bubble to the surface and be carried within our cellular structure. Why do we? Let this energetic event continue until we can integrate the experience with grace and ease. And let us affirm and acknowledge that the nodes and knolls are here in support of us and at any time we can revisit this experience. Just like peeling the layers of an onion, we can ask the nodes and knolls to gently gracefully, easefully, peel away the negative experiences and energetic imprints within our Akash okay. and replace it with not just benevolent energies okay. from our past Akash, but let us pull together okay. the future Akashic lives to come. Let us bring those to us now so that we can experience it in the multidimensional state of our soul that has no time, space, or limits. And so it is. take three deep breaths, breathing in slowly, and breathing out the same rhythm slowly. Take your second breath, 
in slowly. And breathing out slowly. And now take your last breath in slowly and out slowly. Trusting that the process has occurred, the integration will continue. And giving honor and thanks to a creator who loves us so much that we have access to this multidimensional love that is the glue in the existence of our universe. Amen. Okay.